So I got out my silver polishing cloth. I got this from Amazon. And um, this is the second time I ordered the same cloth. I just ordered another one recently. And it's two-sided. So the yellow side has actual silver polish embedded into the yellow part of the cloth. And then you rub it onto silver. And um, then when you're done rubbing it, you can buff it to a shine. So let's see if this works. Um, this is in really, really bad shape. I got it for cheap, and I guess now we know why. But let me try to zoom in on the marks for you. And I don't think it's a rampant lion. A rampant lion is a lion standing on his two hind legs. That uh, usually signifies, I believe, England and sterling. So it means that your silver is actually sterling silver. The older ones had a rampant lion standing on its hind legs. And then the uh, ones after 18 something, I forgot what exact year, had a lion on all fours. Um, so the lion is in the middle. I don't know if you could see that. You could barely see the lion, but his tail is on the right and his head is on the left and he's in the center. The name of the company here is, let's see, let me try to zoom in on this. This is so hard to do since it's so blackened and my hands are not very steady. I can't tell. So maybe when I shine this up, we'll be able to tell. Now I'm not an expert on silver, but I do know that if you see here, the last symbol is a letter and that will signify a year so that should help me now the town so it could actually be a certain town in england like birmingham or london or sheffield or it even could be an area in say scotland um like glasgow the one on the left to the left of the lion is going to tell me that information now i can't tell what it is because it's so blackened and it's in bad shape so let me try to clean this off and uh, let's see if I can do it with this uh, silver cloth here. I sure hope so. Stay tuned. Excuse the sizzling in the background. My husband is cooking eggs right now. All right, so I started to get some of the, don't mind me. I started to get some of the silver off. The silver off. Okay, now I'm totally losing it. I started to get some of the black and smut off of it, but it's still not coming off. And so what I'm going to do now is actually try it. Try to get this off with a freaking Dremel. And I'm not very well versed with this. So this is a, like a chamois that I got from Amazon that attaches. Oh my God, he's got a sizzle now. Are you, oh, okay. And <laughs> don't mind me. And so I got this from Amazon. It's like a little chamois that you can attach to your Dremel. And I put some silver polishing stuff on here. And I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna try to get this stuff off. now. I can't do this with one hand and hold the camera with the other. So stay tuned one second and we'll see if we see any progress. All right, so far, I know my fingers are covered in tarnish. This is starting to work, hold on. All right, so you see this blackened area here? I have polish all over my fingers. See how black that is? Okay, you see how the Dremel does really work? All right. This is mildly satisfying. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It's actually more than mildly satisfying. Alright, so we're getting somewhere. See that? Look at that. Yep, we're getting somewhere. Is that a focus? There we go. All right, so I'm going to do this until I'm done and show you the before and after. Stay tuned. So I just finished. Doesn't it look a lot better? 
Look how shiny that got. I mean, it's still not as shiny as I'd like it to be because the Dremel couldn't get it into every nook and cranny, but the Dremel really made the silver so much shinier and cleaner. And now I can see what the markings are. So the town has an anchor, and then we have the lion in the center, and it looks like the letter I or L. So, and then on the left, it's WJ and company. So I'm gonna look up really fast where this bottle was made and what year it was made. And it's just, isn't it absolutely beautiful? Look at that. And it still smells like perfume. When I take the lid off, it smells just like whoever had its perfume. Let me carefully take this off. It has a little stopper. And then when I take this off and I give it a smell, a sniff, I could smell it. It has a little stopper. Look how pretty that is. That's crystal. This is really good glass. A lot of times the English manufacturers who made these type of bottles got their glass from a company by the name of, I believe, Thomas Webb. And Thomas Webb was really, really known for his glass. So hang on there one second. Let me do a little Googling. Now, look how much cleaner that is, right? Isn't that amazing what the Dremel did? You saw how black this was, right? So let's do a little research really fast and find out what year this was made, what company made it, and what town in the UK this old glass scent bottle was made in. Stay tuned. So the mystery is officially over. So I found out that the anchor mark stands for Birmingham, England. The lion passant or lion on all fours was actually a mark used signifying sterling silver and it was pure and that was used after 1820. Now the little L mark on here means that this was made, that's a date mark. That means that this bottle was made in 1910 and the WJM and company on the left stands for, it's actually WJM over company in a shield. Again, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and that stands for WJ Myatt and Company, Limited, I guess, Liability Corporation. So WJ Myatt and Company LTD. I don't know if you can see that, but that is so cool. So now I was able to make this thing gleam and shine just like the day it was made. Look at that. Look at how that crystal just completely shines, and I just love it. And we solved the mystery, figuring out where it came from, when it was made, that it's 100% sterling silver, it's pure silver. And so you now I got this for really cheap on eBay because the cap was really blackened. You couldn't see the marks. And these bottles aren't cheap. They sell anywhere between, I noticed, $80 to $500, depending on the size and the cut of the glass and how much silver was used and what particular silver firm made the piece. So I... I'm really stoked about this purchase. This was a great purchase under 20 bucks on eBay. And there are a lot of, lot of antique treasures out there on eBay. You can find a lot of really good stuff if you look hard enough and have the patience. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And if you do subscribe to my channel, please hit the notification bell and click all notifications. So anytime I upload a new video, you'll see it immediately. So long.